Under the Ministry of Education, approval is being sought for an additional $1.2 billion to support the operations of the University of Ghana after it was announced that tuition fees at the university will be abolished as of January 1, 2025. However, Senior Minister with Responsibility for Finance, Dr. Ashni Singh, on Tuesday provided further clarity regarding the financial maintenance of the tertiary institution. Request for an additional $1.2 billion for the University of Guyana, that itself reflects our understanding of what's going on at UG. Ripple effects and consequences that that announcement has had for the finances of, of UG and our recognition that additional financial support is needed for UG. Dr. Singh made it clear that for several years the university received government subsidies and now that the university will be offering tuition-free education, Dr. Singh said the facility will now be included in next year's fiscal plan. We will be providing an appropriate solution for the university of Ghana in the 2019 budget. I wouldn't wish to preempt the outcome. That's for the end, that's for this year. It meets the immediate financing needs of the university for the remainder of the year. The subject minister also disclosed that the government has been engaging UG's administration regarding its financial status to ascertain what contingency plans are required for sustainability. On Monday during the 88th sitting of the National Assembly, Dr. Singh presented financial papers numbers 3 and 4 for 2024 to the National Assembly seeking approval of 84.5 billion Ghana dollars. $30.5 billion from the requested $84.5 billion will go towards the disbursement of the promised $100,000 one-off cash grant. Antonio De reporting for the AGP Nightly News.